Welcome back to another episode of After Hours Marketing. My name's Nate, and today I'm gonna to show you how to optimize images for SEO. Literally, how to get some massive rankings, and this is something I'm pretty sure a lot of people are not doing, at least the way that I do it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna get into. And so today's tip, let's get straight over into, uh, let's take an image that I have prepared picture of me as an example and then I'm gonna to go to the a blog post that I, I had started and I want to optimize my image for best Brazil consultant let's say that's the that's the key term um, that my my article is going after so I'm just gonna copy that I'm gonna go back over to my image on my desktop I'm gonna right click it number one you want to name your image your key term because then that way when you upload it onto your blog it's going to be best brazil consultant.jpg um that tells google that you know this image is this keyword and that just helps your page because now you have a higher density of keyword and images with the keyword in it named is a lot better than just one two three four five six or whatever random digits you're gonna call now that's not all I do because some people do that some people know that but if you go if this is a JPEG like this is you go to properties you go to details and you're gonna see title subject rating tags and comments so what I do is I drop in my thing here drop in my thing here and give it a five-star rating and then here you want to, I'll just do it again, but there's a, you see how it puts a semicolon? If I tab, well, maybe not tab. Oh, there you go. I just click on the other side. And then you want to add variations of your keyword. Now you have best Brazil consultant. You, I want um, consultant Brazil's best. Um, consulting, consulting in Brazil, Brazil's best consultant. Just different variations. Everything you want to get as many combinations as possible. What is the or? Who is the best Brazilian consultant? A bunch of different kind of variations like that. And then um, in your comments, I'm gonna go back to my article and you're gonna actually wanna select your entire article. Just copy it. Go back to your art, um, image. I gotta make sure you don't open it up again, otherwise it's gonna lose it. And paste the whole article right into the comments. And down here, authors, you can actually put your name, or you can copy your um, your title again, or your keyword, and put it in there too. And then just press apply, press OK. And now, if you go back, go back to properties, you will see it loaded up with information. And Google actually really likes this because we're telling Google, hey, this image is all about uh, the keyword you're trying to target. And then you put this image on your page. And it helps dramatically so let's go and upload this image and I'll show you one more thing you should be doing to your images um, add media select image let's go desktop add that up so I already had it in but that's fine so um, I'm gonna put this one the one that I just optimized best Brazil consultant JPEG make sure you put it it's gonna be the title but make sure you put it as the alt text and then you can also put a caption in there um, now sometimes so you, the the alt text should be the keyword but I, I like putting a couple extra words in the title I, I think Google um, knows that a lot of people put their keywords in the title and in the alt text so if you add a couple extra words it lowers the density of, for the image and then you're less likely to get penalized which I know they do um, 
because if they'll do that for uh, if you have a, a page title, so I'm pretty sure they do that for image titles. And it'd be like, Nate is the best Brazil consultant of 2013. And then you can do put that in there too. Um, but you don't have to have a caption if you don't want to. Actually, I'd rather put that in the description. And then caption, because the caption's on the actual page. It'll, it'll show under the image or something. Um, alignment left. Does it need the link to? I don't like linking to anywhere. Um, if you link, here's here's something that people don't know. If you link, um, image links are treated just like regular anchor text. So if your image is your keyword, right? And your image is your keyword and you link, you have that image linked to a custom URL, you're essentially telling Google, hey, that page that's being linked to is the page that should rank for the keyword, not the page that the image is on. And so a lot of people screw that up where they put their, you know, alt text here and their keyword and they optimize the image kind of like I did, but then they link the image to another page and then you're, you completely lose the, the effectiveness of the SEO optimization because it's an anchor text link. So anchor text works like if you link to the, the page, to the new page, that new page is going to rank for the keyword that is anchor text. And when you have, when you have um, your image optimized for a certain keyword and then you link out, it completely defeats the purpose. So let's insert that into the post, uh, drag it wherever I want. That sounds good. And then obviously optimize the page. Um, best Brazil consultant title keywords. I have it in there a bunch of times. Um, and that would be it. And then you publish or whatever in your page. Um, this is not enough content, but this is just an example, but that's how you do it. That's how you do images. So uh, if you guys got any questions, uh, leave me a note. Um, or you can join the membership form I'm setting up right now. The doors are open, but you can head over to after hours marketing slash lounge, sign up on the wait list. And we're going to have every single one of my videos. Um, there'll be Q and a in the form for each one of those videos. And I answer personally. So that's great. This can be a great resource for anybody that wants more information until next time guys make sure you like comment and share this video and i'll see you tomorrow